Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, Julie, good son, Mike, Vin, how you guys doing? Who else is up there hiding? Hey, Mike, JW, Joe, good morning, everybody. All right, here we are Tuesday, um, August 13th, 2024. Okay, uh, the market's not tanking, right? <laughs> That's great news. Um, but it, But we're also still kind of stuck in this area here. So, you know, as I as I just watched the pre market kind of kind of work out here, just been sitting here watching it. Nothing is really happening, and we still have. Whoops, I'm all covered up. Just a second, let me move that. There we go. We still have uh, an awful lot of resistance right in through here. Um, the price needs to cut through, and this this grouping. Uh, this 546.60 and these you know dotted lines, that's the 50% retracement. And that's what the bulls really need to get on top of to be bulls, to be truly let's be bullish. Anything below that, it's questionable. So I'm still very questionable about the bullish side of things right now. There's plenty bullish charts out there. We're going to look at some here in a sec. Uh, but right now, that's what we need to clear in the overall market. And there's still a lot, a lot, a lot of resistance right in there. So a little caution going in today, unless the bulls just, you know, unless we just take it right up, unless the bulls just, uh, just get going and push and push and push, that would, that might be a sign that, all right, the bulls have been left out of the, or the gate is open, the bulls are out and we're ready to run. On the flip side, we are we are we are at or nearing the spot right here, right through here, where this is uh, prime, absolutely prime for a bearish rollover right through here. So it's very important that we watch price action and see how the uh, bulls and the bears, buyers and the sellers. See how they're going to uh, work with each other and, and you know, look for that winner in the overall market. Now, as we all know, it's always best to trade with the market on your side. The market is still bearish. It is not bullish. So as you take bullish trades, keep that in mind. Um, real quick, look at the cues. Nothing spectacular ha is happening there. Um, IWM. Nothing spectacular there. We're still in a downtrend price below the T line. Bears still have control. Diamonds, same thing. Bears still have control here. We have not turned that bullish corner just yet. If we look at IYT, it's just been a problem child. The transports have just been painful. Down, they've had this nice little relief rally up but it doesn't look like they have the juice to actually break out of where the tough part begins. Um, I, I, maybe yesterday or it was last week, I mentioned a couple of times, you know, charts that go from down here up like this, that's easy money. There's no resistance over here. That's easy money to get. When you get up into this area here, uh, let's change the color, where there's resistance, that's the hard money. And you can see what happens when you get into hard money. And that's what we have to watch for. And that's the same thing on the overall market. We're just pushed up into hard money right now. If we take a look at SMH, a little better, a little better. Uh, look at that. Uh, we've come off the 200 period moving average, made a high, higher low. And now we're starting to move up. But so far, we do not have that trend break yet. We are not above those red dots, turning them green to give us a tradable trend using the trend indicator. Now, if you're using something else, um, maybe you're, maybe you're a T line user. In that case, this has gone bullish for you. I'm a, I'm a, the red and green dot user, the trend indicator user, trend indicator. This is what I want. I want those dots to turn green. And then I want a little bit of a pullback. So three, four, five, maybe even 10 days of red dots, green dots, excuse me, green dots. And what that does is that sets up the momentum with price above the T-line, T-line above the trend indicator. And that's what I would like right there. Now, 
Uh, I know a few, a few people in the room yesterday bought NVIDIA. Congratulations. NVIDIA is now a buy. So I'm going to be looking at NVIDIA as a buy. Uh, somewhere in here, I'm likely to be buying it. So again, congratulations for those that bought it. It looks like it's moving up pretty nice for you today. And you can see how those red dots have turned from red to green. So I'm going to be all over NVIDIA at some point today. And that's assuming that it holds up above that trendicator there. With, and, and there's a few other charts out there. Uh, gold remains very, very, very nice. Um, GLD. Now, we took half our GLD off the table yesterday, made some good money on that, still looking for that to move higher. I still see, I still see this moving higher, uh, so we'll keep everybody up to date on that. Um, PZZA, that's still looking good. Uh, that one we entered four days ago, and that's still working. I'm still looking for 49 up here uh, as a target. It's not going to go in a straight line. Watch for a little pullback and then pop up there. Um, on the gold side, take a look at Nugget. Get those miners in there. Target up here at 46, we'll call it 46 and a half, 50 bucks, 43, 40 uh, up there. Um, beautiful bounce right off the dotted deuce here. Went for a higher high, a higher low, has made a higher high. Now, Clearly, and I, I suspect everybody can see that downtrend line right there. Just connect those those candles. A push through that, that sets that up as a buy, and then we've got our targets up here. Um, another one that I really like, and I believe I mentioned this yesterday, posted it on the uh, members app, was NEM. NEM starts to break out, then we have targets uh, 50, 80, uh, 52, 50, 5420 uh, up here on um, NEM. Make sure that you put those stops in there. Um, AU is another one setting up. Look at that. Right off the 50 period moving average, nice gap and ran up higher. We're back down to a 3 8 trap right now. This is in buy territory. I start to see a green candle, maybe green candle in the 3 8 trap or breaking out of the 3 8 trap. Uh, a -E -A -U will be a buy. And then one that um, um, yesterday, I came close to buying this yesterday, and there's a good chance that I buy AMD uh, off, kind of off the bottom here. Um, there's a really good chance. If it can hold up today, doesn't have to cross up over the, the, um, the dots there. And I'm looking to hold this a little bit longer term, so it'll be bought further out looking for looking for you know to give it enough time to climb up uh, right in here and i'll certainly notify everybody there may already be an awful lot of people here in the room in this um taking this as a longer a little bit of a longer term trade so um on the short side i noticed this morning that gm uh, was setting up for possible short here. GM is going to have to come down below the T-line, and that would set it, come, set it up to come back to about 40 bucks or around that 200 period moving average. Um, Google, that's not Google. There we go. Google is still a possible short. Yesterday, we put in a little dark cloud cover right at the T-line here. If we start if we start falling below yesterday's low uh, on Google here, that may be a nice short headed right down to 155 or the 200 period moving average. Um, right now on the scanner, um, knee is still setting up. Let's see if I see anything else. Um, just more gold stuff uh, popping up. We'll talk about those when the market opens. All righty, let's call this a morning. We'll see everybody at the bottom of the hour when the market opens up. Let's try to have some fun today, and uh, let's keep this market going. If we could get a little bullishness, that would be awful nice. Uh, maybe roll over here, and that would be a great short. All right, we'll see everybody in about 30 minutes. Thanks a lot, you guys. Appreciate you being here.